Everybody's Tyler at the Israel International Off-Season Competition, checking in team number 7845, 8-Bit. You gotta love uh, the name and the, the whole choice of uh, graphics that they use for things. 8-Bit uh, has had a phenomenal year, by the way. Uh, two district finalists uh, this year, and we're uh, number six alliance captain at the Israel DCMP. Uh, so a phenomenal team. You definitely gotta keep it on. And a 7,000 team, you know, young team, and making big waves uh, here in Israel as well, too. Help me speak more about this robot, by the way, uh, Joel, Shemaya, and Yair. And we're going to be following that full cargo journey. If you look at a great aesthetic machine, but really great at functionality as well, too. Talk about their drop down intake, going to their tower, their shooter, and their climber coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. Let's start out with your uh, intake here. You guys got a really robust intake, uh, and I'd love to hear more about choosing like a mechanical type drop down instead of maybe a pneumatic or something like that. So talk to me about what's gone into your intake, and then we'll talk about your tower too. Uh, so I'll start first off with why we didn't choose pneumatics. Last year we had a pneumatic system 2021, 2022, uh, 2021, and it was just terrible. Tons of punctures in the tubes, just like one of the worst decisions we've made. So we went in this year, if we can make it mechanical, no need for pneumatics, they also take up space, they don't look good. Um, make it mostly as much mechanical as we can, that would be the best. All right, so first off, I'll just pull this down. This is our second version of the intake. Our first version was much more robust and like big and took up a lot of space. So for the off season, we had six months to prepare. We decided we want to make this robot as smooth and as compact as possible. So like here, we had like this giant cube thing going on. So we just like stripped it down. It's now much more durable and much smaller and way better. So we went into the off season thinking, we just got to make it like springy, like up, down, up, down all the time. So that's what we worked on. We have it really smooth now. The whole match, we're always going up, down. We could just show you right now, yeah. And then it just goes right up the second you let go, collects it smooth. That's great. Now, so are, are you using like for when it goes up, do you have like a, in your tower, are you using like a photo gate or something like that, some sort of sensors to detect those? So we started this off season trying to get a color sensor so we could have a color differential but that just didn't work. We couldn't get it on time. So we decided to take it out, so, but it still like works great. The operator can decide when he wants to take out balls, put it in, it's great. Well, as we go into your tower here, um, talk to me about uh, what's going on, because it looks like, uh, you know, from a attention standpoint, trying to get up in here, uh, you know, polycarb has been great for gripping. So I'd love to hear more about your general stru uh, structure design uh, and why this tower was the best for your team. Yeah, so I'll just open it up. Um, so during the season, we didn't have this like slope here. We had two sides of uh, timing belts that would pick it up and it, the ball just got stuck constantly all the time. We saw a bunch of teams in the DCMP who did it really well picking up just, just the slope on the back. So we said we tried out, we had time. This is a good uh, off season for us to try new things. A lot of our older kids are leaving, so good to get into the rhythm. And then over here, we have this, uh, this shaft that's just static. It's just to help give more tension over here with the timing belt so that we don't lose any balls. Well, Shemaya, thanks for talking about that. We're going to go to your shooter. Joel's going to be talking more about that as well. Uh, you know, I, I got to ask you on your shooter here as we go through. Once again, your, your team has such a great look uh, to it, so I love that. Uh, I'd love to hear about your choice going with like an acrylic polycarbonate uh, here. Uh, because teams have been trying to do different things to try to make sure that the spin is right, the uh, compression is right, and I noticed you got some wheels up here to help with your spin too. So this is our third iteration of, of the shooter. We had, on our first competition, we had a low goal shoot, shooter, and on the second competition, we got a high goal, a high hub, high hub shooter. So it used to face the, this way to the intake, it used to face there, but 
we decided to change it before because we thought it will be it will get our cycles way faster. Um, we this is polycarbonate. This is acrylic. We had we at first we printed our our gear this gear, but we chose to use ac acrylic because it's it's more durable and it, and we need to change it way less. We didn't actually didn't change it from when we built it. Um, the wheels, we we saw, because we had the, a logo, so we didn't, we rebuilt our shooter. So we, we already knew that about the backspin issue. So we incorporated the, the wheel to eliminate the backspin. Yeah, for sure. For your team, uh, I watched your team play your last match. It looked like uh, you were shooting uh, from different positions, but it looked like you really like to shoot from the back of the tar mat a lot. Is that kind of your sweet spot for your team, or where do you like to shoot from in a match typically? So we like to shoot for the tarmac. We can also shoot um, right close to the hub we, and from the safe zone. But our sweet spot is definitely the, tom, the edge of the tarmac, and we really like to shoot there. Let's start to wrap up on this robot. Yeah, you're going to talk about the uh, climber uh, that's gone into it. So we'll hear more about that. Uh, this is a, I like the design uh, that you have overall for this, where it's kind of that flip out, right? Uh, but I really love to hear about, you know, once again, choosing like a, an acrylic uh, for this as well, too. How did you figure out that this was going to be best for you? It wasn't going to break or anything like that. And of course, uh, if we can demonstrate the climber working, that'd be great, too. OK, so first of all, thank you. And our first priority of the season was the climber. We saw that. It was the easiest to get the RP, it was the easiest, and the shooter was very difficult. So we decided to focus our, our strength and everything to build a better um, climber than the shooter. So you can see it's in the middle, it's, take the, it's taking the whole um, robot. So yeah, that's it. Um, we chose a way of getting uh, to the high bar, but you need um, one um, you need to get also on the Y axis and the X axis. Okay, you can see it going up. Schlong, schlong. Okay, now you can see the, the other arm that can go on the sides. We, because of the high limit, we, can't, we didn't use, we can't use a big arm. We need to have a way to take it um, two, up, two parts and then to get it up. We used um, polycarbonate, we call it, and um, these um, surgical tube, tubes to get it up. We chose um, uh, these materials because we saw that it's very dangerous, very dangerous there, and we need something that could, could be a little bit, um, can move a little bit. So we chose that, can move. A lot of time we get um, bumped a little into, and it really saves us, you can really see it and it holds very great, it's very strong on the, you can pull it apart, and it's really soft and, um, and can stand a lot of force on the wire, on the, on the sides. Yeah, so you can demonstrate the whole um, climbing. So, first of all, we're gonna open the, the elevator. So we catch the first bar, the second bar, then the, the second arm, will go will open while the elevator will go down so we can catch the third bar and about that to the four, fourth bar and that's it that's it yeah yeah watching your last match it seemed like when you guys were going from each bar you were so stable the whole way like a lot of teams they swing a lot what kind of considerations did you put into making sure that you were stable uh, through your climb yeah we actually thought about that we saw that we saw from the beginning of the season teams that used the uh, a uh, arm that can go also on the sides and also like an elevator they have really really they're gonna swing a lot so we decided that the bars will the arms will be as strong and won't move while, while the other one is moving so it's like the stable as we can and w it's really stable actually and it really helped us well, Apet, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us more about your team and your robot. Congratulations on a great year this year. But, of course, I can't wait to see what you guys bring for next year as well, too. So thanks a lot, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors.
At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. Stryker's commitment to medical device technology innovation has made it a top career destination for those in FIRST. FIRST alumni and mentors are given top priority in their internship and career applications. Come create the next medical innovation that saves lives at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.